Lord, we thank you for this congregation, Lord God. As they even look on right now, Lord God. Church every heart, every mind, Lord God. Lord God, you see the sick of the living amongst, Lord God. So that even some of the lives right now, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray for you, Lord God. God, take me down here to your school house, Lord God. Use the river for your glory, Lord God. Don't let this same nothing else that you didn't tell me to say, Lord God. But God, help me to stay in your will and in your will, Lord God. Help me to stay in your will and in your will, Lord God. Help me to stay in your will and in your will, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Amen. But God is good anyway. We're going to get ready to go into the Word. And uh, we're going to the book of John. This chapter. Oh, Bishop, I just bowed down. <laughs> he stopped being a reader. Uh, the first chapter. John. Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to. Oh, take it down, ma'am. Take it down. <laughs> But I'm hoping that I don't have to wait another year because I'm standing. The rocks might be what makes my feet up at me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, y'all, it hurt my feet now. Yeah, okay, now. You don't have a key. I got this. You got it on. I'm reading it from Brother McDonald. Okay. Okay. Let me start with Start first verse. Okay. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for the wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof, and went down into it to go with them and to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. Then the mariners were afraid, and cried every man unto his God, and cast forth the waves that were in the ship into the sea, to lighten it of them. But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship, and he lay and was fast asleep. So the shipmaster came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy God. Call it, call it. If so, be that God, that yes, God, will think upon us that we perish not. And they said, Every one to his fellow, Come, and let us cast lots, that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell upon John. Then said they unto him, Tell us, we pray thee, for whose cause this evil is upon us. What is thine occupation? And whence cometh thou? What is thy country? And of what people are thou? And he said unto them, I am a Hebrew, and I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, which has made the sea and the dry land. Then were the men exceedingly afraid and said unto him, Why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he, that he fled from the presence of the Lord because he had told them. Then said they unto him, What shall we do unto thee, that the sea may be calm unto us? For the sea rocked and was tempestuous. And he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea. So shall the sea be calm unto you. Mm -hmm. For I know that for my sake this great tempest is upon you. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord gave this, uh, the Lord gave this message. No, I'm sorry. I'm go Nevertheless, the men rode hard to bring it to the land. But they could not. For the sea rocked and was tempestuous against them. Wherefore they cried unto the Lord and said, We beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee. Let us not perish for this man's sake. And lay not upon us innocent blood. For thou, O Lord, hast done as it pleased thee. So they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea. And the sea ceased from the Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord and made vows. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. And John was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Amen. 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 This was Brother John. 
disobedient okay. preacher. Mm. He was that's what he was. He was disobedient preacher. Mm. I used for a little thought prayer meeting in the middle of the field. Ah, Amen. 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 And Brother Jonah mm -hmm. was like some of us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we'll say, well, that, that that was in the Bible day. But God tells a lot of us to do a lot of things. And we will do what God says. But when Jonah thought that he was running from God, he couldn't hide. He couldn't hide from God. But when Jonah had my mind, when Jonah run and got on that ship, he won't stand it. He paid his way.
to see. God, people want to be able to look on the devil and say, that's the devil. God, people want to know one another. There's going to be something happening if I walk up to you. Somebody, you, I ought to know something about you is different. That's right. Amen. Amen. Me and Bishop went to the flea market. And the woman started talking and we started on around in the flea market. The woman went all the way around the flea market, brother. She kept saying, you're a woman of God. You're a woman of God. And she said, the woman left my place. They said, I'm going to go in there. She just kept saying, she followed us right on out the door. She kept saying, she said, you're a woman of God. She said, I, when I sent you, I know she was a woman of God. So God, people are supposed to know one another. I ain't got no business in you nowhere where you ain't got no business. I was standing on the corner, and mother, <laughs> mom and Don wanted to know why I was out on the corner. <laughs> but I had my car head down here, and I was standing there waiting on the pony. But she turned around and come back and said, I want to know why you standing on the corner. <laughs> After she found out why I was standing on the corner, she didn't even ask me what her. <laughs> she went back and got in her car and lived. <laughs> but I don't want her. I read she knew that I want her because I was standing there. But she, she, just, she didn't want to know what I am doing standing on the corner. <laughs> oh, no one was annoyed anyway. She knew I had no big daddy on no corner. I ain't had no business down there. So we in the sense of God, we ought to know one another. God know what Jonah. Jonah was one God chosen. God know, you know, uh, sometimes we feel like that God will bless us the way we ask him to bless. But sometimes God got to take us a little to get our attention. Sometimes God got to move somebody in our thing to get our attention. So he be trying to get out of church. And we keep saying, God, get God, I want you to do this. And God, I want you to do that. But if God did for Jonah, if he told Jonah that no, and deliver Jonah, he can deliver you. But you have to want to be delivered. Sin is sin, y'all. Yes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we won't say what sin is because of our church or because of our sisters and our brother. But if you're a liar, you're a liar. If you're a homeowner, you just a homeowner. Mm -hmm. If you're a peace breaker, you just a peace breaker. Mm -hmm. God can save you too. Mm -hmm. I've been alive. Most of y'all in here been alive. Because mm -hmm. you didn't tell the truth, you were lying. Mm -hmm. And some of us have rolled off our tomb just like we take the truth. <laughs> and some of you said in church Sunday out the Sunday still lie. Yeah. Still alive. Still bringing peace. Yep. But sin is sin, y'all. The same sin that kept us from being with God 10 years ago is the same sin now. Amen. Sometimes people say, oh, it don't take all that. Things change. You change, but God didn't change. The people change. The same thing that your mom and your grandma and them stood for, it's still the same thing. And some of your grandma and your mamas and your dads and stuff drunk and was a beating in the church. I ain't gonna say it was in him. Oh God. But some of you were. You know how it was. You tell the truth. No, I'm gonna tell the truth. So it don't mean that everybody in the building is saved, y'all. It means that the people just act like they're scared to talk about sin anymore. And if you ain't sin, you don't know in the hell. And you're going to burn me too. If you can't stand to be burned by a little chicken grease, a little pork chop grease, you better not go to hell. <laughs> that, that too. Because you're going to be, you're gonna be burning me too. But see, when Jonah got down in that bed of that fish, and Jonah went to pray. Uh -huh. I believe Jonah felt like he was in hell then. Uh -huh. I believe he did. I seen a picture one time, and I know that won't true. But they showed how the seaweeds and stuff was in the fish while Jonah was in there. 
and I said, well, the seaweed's going to choke him to death. The fish going to swallow him to go down into whatever that is. Yeah. Digestive. Digestive. Help me out, huh? But the fish could have digested. But he couldn't do it. Because he was God chosen. He was God chosen. So we don't know who God chosen is. So we better, we better get our hands off the people. But the ones that we want to be our friend. And just like the men was on that ship. They are pull up against you. The ones what put you up. You can believe it or not, they're trying to key you behind your back. They tell you they love you, you doing a good job. They get behind your back and they say you ought to sit down somewhere. They stood. When somebody get to put you up, you better be killed. Because some gonna say something good about you, and they gonna say, well, well what what you think about? It? Well, what, what do you think about? It? And they still say, well, I, well, all I know, they were doing right when I said it. Because we don't have a hell of hell to put you in. But Jonah went low as he could go, y'all. And sometimes we think we ain't going to go low. But we are so scared that God is not going to bring us out of it.